Hello guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Hope RBI. Well, it's been a while since we connected over YouTube and uh, I sincerely apologize for that. I was really caught up in various examinations that I had been preparing for and it was really hectic for me to juggle between the examinations and YouTube and even Telegram. So I really apologize for that and I'm here today to talk about a very important topic that is the preparation of the economic and social issues portion for the RBI grade B examination 2023. Most of you guys know that I shared recently my RBI grade B phase 2 scorecard and in that I scored really well in the ESI section especially in the objective portion. So most of you guys were wondering that how I prepared for it and what would be my strategy to prepare for the next attempt for the 2023 attempt. So I'm going to talk about each and everything here. I request you guys to please watch this video carefully and if you think that my methods are really fruitful for you as well, you can definitely opt those methods into your preparation strategy. And share this video with every person who is preparing for the RBI grade B examination. So let's talk about the ESI section here. In the actual examination, you will be encountering two papers. First is the objective paper, second is the descriptive paper. In the objective paper, you will be encountering some of the questions which are current affairs and or some of the static questions as well. But in the RBI grade B examination, as you know that from the previous trends, about 90 to 95 percent of the questions are regarding the current affairs and very rarely you will be encountering some of the static portion in the objective paper. So I'm going to talk about what was my approach towards the objective paper towards the current affairs portion and what will be my strategy towards the 2023 attempt especially for the ESI section. So let's talk about it for current affairs I primarily relied my primary source for the current affairs was PIB. All the students who have been following this channel in various sessions that I have taken in various videos that I have made I have always emphasized that PIB is like a Bible for every RBI grade B aspirant. It is the basic source which you have to cover very comprehensively. That is the exact same thing which I did for my preparation as well. I covered the PIB daily. I knew the syllabus, what was the syllabus, I had the syllabus in my mind and while keeping that in mind I sorted the important news and I read the PIB with reference to the actual examination. I sometimes made notes before but after that when uh, you know the exam was approaching I stopped making notes and I just took the uh, print or the snapshot of that particular news which was important and I just highlighted the important things and made one note copy for that. I don't have it right now but I did that in my previous attempt. What I'm doing for my 2023 attempt is that I'm making small notes of important news. I, I'll show you my notes. So uh, in one note, I'm I've actually recently started. So let's say this is first September. So uh, I st I started making notes for the PIB for the daily PIB. What I did was I went to the website, I sorted the important news, and I started making the notes like this: fifth Rashtriya Poshan Mah 2022. It is important because it belongs to the Ministry of Women and Child Development. Very important according to the syllabus that I knew. So these kind of important things, whatever I felt important, I just noted down in point format so that it would be really uh, easier for me to remember and revise for the actual examination. And I also made it in one note because it is very easier to highlight some of the important things. For example, the ministry is important, the date is important, the month was this, it was the fifth edition, everything which you feel that it is important, you can definitely highlight it. So if you think that this method will be helping you as well, you can definitely do that. And also some of the data points or some of the trends which you have to analyze sometimes, it is difficult to you know write down or make notes out of it. So what I did now was I took a screenshot of the important things. For example, in September, there was the GDP estimates, very important news from the examination. So what I did was I uh, took the screenshot of these trends and I, you know, basically I will, I'm not going to remember each and everything here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze the trend. I'm going to analyze that, yes, in this particular uh, industry, the GV estimate was this, in uh, in this particular year, then this, then this. The, so what is the trend? So I will see the trend and analyze that, yes, Whenever I am writing the descriptive answer, if, if the question regarding the agriculture or forestry or fishing 
for the NABADA or the RBI grade B examination comes, I will have a good point that yes, according to the estimates, this was uh, the trend, this was the fluctuating trend or the increasing or the decreasing trend. And the important terms, the important points which you need to remember, you can definitely highlight them and you can remember and revise them. So that is that was my motive behind making these kind of notes and taking these kind of screenshots. I also took the screenshot for this. Well, uh, this is a quarterly survey, so you don't have to remember each and everything. But yeah, you can analyze the trend. For that, I took the screenshots. So my main idea is to basically make some short notes for myself so that it would be easier for me to remember and revise so that my efficiency will, will be conserved and uh, it will be used in some other things which I am lacking. Obviously, I did not score well in the finance and management section, so I am planning to work more on that. So this is my basic strategy. So this is how I am using the PIB website to cover various notes and it is important for you to do the do that as well if you feel comfortable with if you feel like some compilation is helping you you are not able to do that on your own because you have a time constraint if you are working or something else you can definitely opt for any compilation if you feel like that is covering the basic idea or the basic or the major things of PIP. the next thing i incorporated in my preparation last year or the this year's attempt 2022 attempt was affairs cloud affairs cloud i've already discussed everything in the previous videos as well you can check them out and realize that there is nothing that is that has changed in my strategy i only did those things so in the affairs cloud i read the daily study pdfs the daily pdfs in which the you know the comprehensive news is given not the pocket pdf not the mcq pdf not the daily mcq pdf i studied the daily study pdf the thorough one I did not study the monthly PDF. Most of the students read the monthly PDF. Most of the selected candidates, as you have seen, they also recommend reading the monthly PDF as well. Monthly PDF is basically the compilation of the daily study PDF. But I use the daily study PDF because it gives me a sense of accomplishment that yes, today's current affairs are done. In the monthly PDF also, first of all, there are 350 to 400 pages for one month. It is very hectic for me to cover. Secondly, whenever I am reading the monthly PDF, there is national news for 50 to 60 pages. Only similar kind of news and there is no variety. So it feels kind of, I, I feel kind of bored while reading the monthly PDF. But when I am reading the daily study PDF, obviously there are national news, international news, economic news, banking and finance news, RBI news or government schemes news. So in that daily PDF, the variety of news is given and that too in 20 to 25 pages. So whenever you are doing this, you will get a sense of accomplishment that yes, I have covered something. That is why I use the daily study PDFs. So affairs cloud was important for the GA section of the phase one as well and for the phase two, especially the uh, syllabus related uh, news, for example, the economy news or the banking and finance news or the some of the national news, government schemes news, very, very important. So that is why I use the affairs cloud so that whatever wh whatever information, whatever news I missed in the PIB, I will cover it from affairs cloud. The next thing, the most important thing is the coverage of government schemes. I know some of you guys have already been preparing for the examination for a while and uh, if you see the this year's examination and also the NABAD examination, the preliminary as well as the mains, this portion helped, this portion was asked, you know, uh, in a bulk in the examination and that was the government schemes and I know most of us actually feel very much burdened that how to cover comprehensively these kind of schemes because today in any kind of these news uh, in any kind of these examinations IBPS is asking very detailed questions and it is very difficult to cover comprehensively the government schemes so what I did was I tried to cover government schemes first of all through PIB if any scheme is celebrating its anniversary, if any scheme is being extended for a particular timeline, if any scheme, the name of any scheme has been changed, if any previous scheme is a being extended for a longer period of time, if any scheme is in news for various reasons, if any new scheme is being implemented, all of these schemes are important from the examination point of view. But remember that I'm talking about the schemes which are relevant as per the syllabus suppose there is a scheme related to law do we have law in your in our syllabus no so
so we don't need to read that we don't need to follow that but suppose there is a scheme for example recently there was a uh, there was a news uh, i guess in september that uh, pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana is being extended so obviously the news is important the ministry is important and it is in news because it is being extended so obviously it is important so you have to cover that news comprehensively so i used pib to get the information about the latest news uh, latest uh, or the previous government schemes that are in news recently and after that the article or the pib if any information is given in that particular article regarding that scheme i used to check it out and my second source after i covered the pib after i got to know that this scheme is important my second source was vision ias pdf vision ias pdf of uh, government schemes there are two pdfs of government schemes of vision ias so i used to open that for example i studied i read the news that uh, pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana is uh, being extended so i will open the vision ias document and search for this particular scheme if i find the scheme here well and good if i do not find the scheme here i will search for it in the google and write pib so if pib has any kind of information regarding this particular scheme i will open that document and i will see that what kind of important things are there and also simultaneously i will open the actual ministry website where i will see that if any additional information is given according uh, with respect to the scheme which i am reading or not so these things are very important you may encounter that sometimes the data in the vision is pdf might be outdated so what you can do is you can update it with respect to the website the ministry website that you are visiting or from the pib if there is a latest news regarding the data that you need to uh you know alter in in the vision is document so vision is document i did not update vision is document as much as i did uh with the affairs cloud document i used to you know highlight uh, uh affairs cloud document as you guys know i have already talked about it i did not highlight vision is document very much often because the new document as you have seen that uh, it is kind of in a ma mind map uh a kind of for, uh, format and it's very easy to remember and understand everything so what i did was if anything was obsolete or anything was uh, not updated i just changed the information by using my digital pen which i'm using right here in the lecture so i used to update this uh pdf with a new thing or with the updated thing but that also was very rare because uh, the document was not that outdated so vision is document i totally relied relied on it but last in my last attempt i did not visit enough the ministry website because i used to just skim through it and just realize that yes 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 i have read this i was just looking for the information which was already given in the vision is document that yes i have done this i have done this because it's given in the document but i was lacking was i i should have seen the information which is not given in the pdf itself or which is not given in the pib itself i should have taken that into consideration to make my preparation even better so what i am going to do for 2023 is that i am going to visit the ministry websites also and i am going to you know open the scheme in from that particular ministry and i am going to read each and everything that how uh, that what kind of important things could be asked which addition uh, was the latest celebration was regarding or what was the previous name of that scheme or any additional information which i think could be asked by ibps because they obviously do such kind of things in the examination so this is my basic strategy for the government schemes for actual examination i did not do anything else in my previous attempt in my 2022 attempt i did not do anything else these were my basic things oh very important thing the reports and indices for uh, reports and indices as you know for economic survey and budget i relied on the original documents as well as the summary by vision ias for budget i did not rely on any summary i read the original document by pib everything by pib in the budget and everything uh, the actual document uh, by the finance ministry which was uh, you know released it was uh, not a very big document so i read that i studied that comprehensively and for economic survey i read the actual document and i also relied on the vision ias uh, summary as well and also the lectures the video lectures which were uploaded on their youtube channel so i uh, did cover the vision ias uh, 
videos of the economic survey as well but for the other reports and indices i totally relied on affairs cloud for example if there is a report from the unesco or uh, let's say there is a report regarding the global economic prospects let's say f uh, uh, from who or from uh, whichever organization this uh, uh, these reports are from uh, let's say any report regarding hunger or poverty from UNDP or UNEP or United Nations or very uh, big organizations so I relied on affairs cloud uh, with respect to these kind of reports because there is a lot of data but for my future preparation I am also going to use the internet especially the newspaper articles to search for the additional information that are given in the uh, given with respect to the uh, reports uh, because I was attending a session in which a selected candidate was actually following this kind of approach and I really liked it I thought that uh, this will be very helpful for me as well so I decided that I will also be you know for suppose there is a suppose there is a global economic prospects report so um, I'm also relying on affairs cloud on this but I will also search for the internet <coughs> I'm sorry uh, I will search for the report actually um, on the internet and I will uh, see the relevant newspaper articles that if any additional information is given in that newspaper article obviously it will be very difficult for us to read the whole reports because obviously we have a lot of original reports to read RBI annual report is obviously there and all of the other things economic survey budget is obviously there so for these kind of reports uh, I think what would be the better uh, way to approach is uh, using the affairs cloud or any kind of compilation that you are using for the reports and indices and also search a little bit uh, about that report and the relevant newspaper article for example let's say mint or let's say the hindu and search for the things which are not given in that compilation from your reading or from the affairs cloud so i am going to adopt that kind of uh, that kind of strategy for my esi preparation for the 2023 attempt so these are the things which i actually uh, you know um, which i actually focused on more so uh, yes i have covered mostly each and everything now let's talk about the static portion static portion is basically very less in the examination but uh, as you know that the static portion whatever static question you will be encountering in the objective paper it will be relevant to the current affairs uh, suppose let's say if there is a report let's say a poverty uh, report related to poverty is there so they will be asking some of the basic definition regarding poverty static kind of question so that is also with respect to the current affair that has been asked so that is why you need to analyze that your main emphasis for the objective paper should be on the current affairs portion it is very important for you to cover let's talk about the descriptive section now for the descriptive section i did not basically do anything else i covered the syllabus you know my sources i have covered the economic and social issues portion by uh, ncrt's 11th standard and 12th standards macroeconomics i have done this and after that i have moved moved on to the uh, indian economy by uh, sanjeev varma Indian economy by Sanjeev Verma so these were my sources for the uh, you know descriptive for uh, getting the conceptual clarity and uh, it really helped me to frame good answers there uh, and also some of the social issues concepts which was not given in the book I googled some of the important social issues concept for example let's say there was uh, multiculturalism was there in the syllabus and uh, uh, migration was there gender issues was there so it really helped uh, Google actually really helped me to uh, get some of the basic ideas of these things and uh, I really was uh, able to do these kind of things in the descriptive portion as well but as you know that in descriptive also some of the current aspects were asked and uh, um, it was not very difficult to frame uh, such kind of um, uh, questions such kind of answers uh, regarding that I had already uh, you know had a good command over the reports and the current affairs section and the PIB so I was able to recall some of the good examples and some of the good things and I was able to incorporate that uh, in in my actual answers so I, I I think that that would have helped in getting good marks in the descriptive paper as well so uh, these uh, these were my own uh, you know 
uh, these were my sources and this was my strategy for the 2023 attempt i will be you know using the evaluation as well i will try to make my papers evaluated by some uh, uh, people i have a friend uh, who is a upsc aspirant and uh, i am going to involve uh, that person to uh, evaluate my uh, answers as well and uh, uh i'm not planning right now to get in enrolled into any uh, courses but i think for my finance and management preparation i i think i have to so i'm just planning it you guys can give your suggestions what could be the better uh course for me to get enrolled into and uh, i will be uh, happy to get your feedback and uh, make an informed decision regarding that so if i'm enrolled i will definitely make uh, my answers evaluated in that particular course as well so um that is it for the economic and social issues preparation strategy my preparation strategy if you feel like you are getting something from every aspect of the discussion that has been done here you can definitely opt it and you can definitely implement it in your own preparation as well thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubts regarding anything you can definitely comment it down below or you can definitely uh, message over the telegram group as well uh, i will try to answer your queries I know I have been distant for a long time and uh, it was because of these examinations I also definitely am very serious regarding these things and uh, I did not want to waste a single second so I thought that I should mo uh, put my uh, energy more into uh, preparation uh, that is why I was not able to do uh, YouTube and Telegram for a while but I will try to be as uh, active as possible thank you so much for watching this video share it with every person who is preparing for the RBI grade B examination and have a wonderful day